Welcome back to the channel. We are in the garage today and I'm very happy to say we're going to be working on Gordita today, my 2001 Sportster. Uh, this bike has gone through quite a few different variations, uh, especially if you've watched the channel long enough, you definitely know that. Uh, today we're actually doing a all new modification I've never done on this bike. Um, I held off on it mostly because, well, Right away, I'll just tell you what we're doing. We're finally doing an intake. <laughs> I'm uh, getting rid of this giant dish here. And uh, I held off on it so long because um, for the type of riding I was doing at the time on dirt roads, I wanted something that was more of a sealed intake from debris and rain and all that good stuff. So right now where the intake pulls its air is actually in between the cylinder heads, which sounds like a terrible idea because it's nothing but hot air. But uh, we're going to be changing that and hopefully we're going to be picking up maybe, you know, half a horsepower if I'm lucky. <laughs> it's been almost three years to the day since I pulled that carb out and cleaned it and put in a new, uh, couple new gaskets. So today we're going to pull it apart again today and clean her up, see how she looks, put the new intake on. So while we were down in Florida snowbirding, uh, I did a video on the new handlebars and the new rear shocks here. And while I was down there, uh, you might have caught on that I picked up a few other parts while down there. And I did get these through JMP Cycles as well down there. I'm not really used to having uh, a motorcycle shop that carries all those parts in store like that. So I kind of took advantage of it. So what we've got here is I managed to pick up a TC Bros intake. I really like this one because it's fairly small. Uh, I wanted to see more of the actual uh, jugs and cylinder heads on the Sportster. I really like that aesthetic look. So to go along with that, since I'm taking off the intake, is I will need the carb mount. So I picked that up and then this is the new breather kit for the heads. Uh, a lot of the guys, they put in the little breather bolts and then it just blows oil out all over the heads and all down the place. This is going to have a fixed pipe with a drain hose. Uh, and then the last part I actually forgot to pick up and I ordered off of the website when I got home is a whole new gasket kit. So I'll have a link to all these parts down below. So we've got the carb off here and I can see a little bit of dirt down here. Um, I did notice the gaskets are sticking a little bit here. I'll probably scrape those off. But this is my carburetor after three years and a couple thousand miles. Um, I think it is running a little bit rich because last year I put a 45 uh, pilot jet in up from a 42 just to kind of help with the uh, free, free flowing exhaust and all, but it does appear to be running uh, a little bit rich, but I've never really had problems. So I think I'm gonna take this outside and uh, spray it down and drain the gas. We'll go from there. All right, so we're back. This actually uh, cleaned up pretty good, surprisingly, just to uh, spray it off a little bit. 
Um, so now the biggest thing that I had a problem with when I first got my bike was the accelerator pump diaphragm was leaking. So that's a cheap insurance policy just to switch this little gasket out in here. Um, but we'll also check out the top cap here and I'll inspect the bowl because when I pulled the bowl off last time to put in a bigger jet, I noticed it was pretty discolored. So I'm kind of curious to see that. Now I do still have the plastic insert. Knock on wood, I've had no problems with this, but uh, I should probably go ahead and buy the brass insert to potentially replace this in the future because these are very prone to cracking with just age and vibrations. But um, I mean, I, I honestly don't know how this thing is still surviving after everything I've put this bike through. So let's go ahead and start off with taking the bowl off and we'll check out everything there. I've got this all pretty much cleaned up the best that I can. Uh, I actually kind of wish I had uh, some sort of one of those little like sonic uh, cleaners, but uh, this is the best I got for now. Um, so we're going to throw her back together, put some fresh gaskets on her, and then put the new intake on. I'm really excited to get that intake on and we'll see uh, how she runs. Also, I'm pretty sure I need to start cleaning my carburetor more often. So I'm actually installing this intake on the day of the eclipse, which I can't really see, but everything is like subdued and dark. Can't really tell on camera though. It's actually so dark out that my light activated lights outside kicked on so this is the first issue i've ran into actually um this is the carb mount this basically is what presses it all on uh this will be the intake mount so that'll go you know right there on top of this these are just in place for now what i'm curious about is the breather kit i bought says that it is made for a 91 to 03 XL models. Great. Do you see the problem? This is basically just contacting at all times. All right, I managed to get this. Um, this is kind of funny. I thought I was going to cut or weld or something. But all I did was put this in the vise and I bent this back and then bent this back. So it created a, a lean basically to put a slight 
tilt. Sorry about the airplane going over right now. Uh, so now the hose fits and I can direct it, but uh, yeah, it's just got a, uh, a little gangster lean on it, I guess. We'll see. So for comparison, you see how this bend is a perfect 90? Over on Manny's bike, his car bracket has a good 45 degree bend on it. So this kit would probably work better on his bike than mine. So if you ever do this, uh, just look for a bracket that is not a perfect 90. Just a little ridiculous. They tell you to put on all these extra washers and I just, <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to put them all on. Oh boy, there went one. Okay, okay. So the instructions actually tell me to Loctite all of this and personally I'm not really a big fan of Loctite on my carburetor, um, especially this bolt here that goes right in here. I don't want all that on the inside of the air cleaner. I want this to be very clean. So I'm opted to use a lock washer and I'll just kind of check it every once in a while. I never had any problems on my other intake with bolts loosening. So we're just going to hope for the best, I guess. Okay, so we'll go right there. Nice. This is an extremely long bolt, though, so that is nice. pretty good pretty good and you can really see that head now all right I'm gonna hook up the fuel and we can pull her out and see how she runs and I only had some extra hardware So I think I'm going to change a lot of things up here very quickly. I think the tank lift is going away. The heat wrap is going to go away. The sissy bar is going to go away. And all of the stickers will go away.
and I think I'm gonna go through and instead of polishing stuff, I wanna make it kind of dull like my exhaust. Kind of like a brushed style. I tried the chopper thing once and I didn't like it and I'm not a chopper now. And I don't wanna look like it. This bike is about to change a lot. <laughs> 